Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day. This is like a typical day. So I'm gonna be sharing with you my breakfast, lunch, dinner, any meals in between, snacks, stuff like that. So the first thing that I have when I wake up in the morning is always coffee. You guys know I live, love, everything, coffee. Depending on what day it is for me, if I work out in the morning, I will just have black coffee before I work out. I don't put anything in it. So I will typically have like a half a cup of black coffee before I work out in the morning. That's pretty much it, that and water. After my workout, I'll have a cup of coffee when I get home, another one. But this time, I'm gonna add my MCT oil powder in here. I love this stuff, okay? I do a scoop. You're not supposed to put hot liquids in here, so don't do that, okay? MCT oil powder is essentially a fat. I put that in my coffee. I actually substitute that for cream now. I used to do, I'm pretty sure when I started, I used to do both, but now I just do that. I really, really like it. I like it a lot. I like it more than cream now, which I know is crazy, but I just really love that in my coffee. It makes it, it, makes it creamy, it makes it frothy. It kind of makes me feel like I'm drinking a cappuccino when I'm not. After my workout, I will have a bird bowl. Some days I have a bird bowl, some days I don't. I call it the bird bowl because it's bird seed, basically. It looks like bird food, honestly. No shade, just looks like bird food. So we're doing two tablespoons of chia seeds. So seeds. All right, two tablespoons of chia, two tablespoons of hemp seeds. Stir it up. Almond milk. All right, then I take the almond milk and I just cover the seeds. Stir it up, and then eventually this is all gonna absorb. I might have put a little bit too much almond milk in there, but that's, that's okay. You can do this the night before. I find that it only takes like 20 minutes to absorb the almond milk. It's kind of like an overnight oats situation. Nice lean. <laughs> Just take this, pop it in the fridge, and then it'll be ready in like 15, 20 minutes. All right, bird bowl is ready to go. It was sitting in there for about 15 minutes. It's a little bit little bit softer than normal, a little bit more than what I normally do almond milk wise. But now what I add to this mixture, the seed mixture, is some almond butter. This is Justin's classic almond butter. And I put in about a tablespoon-ish. I just take the knife and stir it up. Next we take some raw pepitas. Do about a tablespoon of these. Then I take a small handful of pecans. Okay, and then to finish it off, I just do a little sprinkle of blueberries. There you have the bird bowl. Hashtag Shayla taught me. But that's what I'll have with my coffee after I work out. I don't do that every single day because sometimes I feel like I just need more food than that. Maybe three days a week I'll have that for lunch. Other days I will actually prepare or cook something or I'll have leftovers from the night before for lunch. And then I will most likely have a snack before I have dinner. As far as my snacking goes, I try to limit my snacking as much as possible, but I love to snack. Snacking is, I think, one of my favorite hobbies. Sometimes I'll have blueberries, I'll have a string cheese. Not that you guys know, I'm weak, weak for chocolate chips, Lily's chocolate chips. Also the Chalk Zero, I've tried that. I've ordered off, off Amazon and from their website. Oh my God, it is so good. I don't know what they put in there. It's sugar-free and sugar alcohol-free and it tastes incredible. If you like uh, Ferrero Rocher, you know those little chocolate balls that are wrapped in gold foil, it tastes exactly like that. I don't know if it's because I hadn't had sugar in a long time, but you guys, they taste so good. I used to snack a lot on macadamia nuts, but something that I do is I have something, when I like something a lot, I have a lot of it until I get sick of it. That's just the way I've always been. In terms of food, I'm like glued onto something for a while and then I just stop eating it. So macadamia nuts, I don't really eat often anymore. They're really good, but they add up, the calories add up really, really quick. I did just find this store in LA. It's called Sugar Free Market. That's actually the store name. I didn't, it's, it's literally called Sugar Free Market. And it has tons of sugar-free desserts, like home baked goods in the store. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I got a bunch of different desserts. They had muffins, 
donuts, which the donut just tastes like chocolate cake. It's just shaped like a donut. I caught onto that one, but I picked up a lot of stuff there that I just wanted to try out and see what it was all about. And I tried it, okay? I tried it this past weekend. It was pretty good. So those are some things that I've been snacking on lately, but instead of snacking more often, what I try to do is have dinner a little bit earlier. I noticed that helps me out if I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have dinner at five tonight. That's right, five o'clock. So typically for dinners, what I like to do, I actually have a list here. I write down a bunch of different meals, like meal possibilities. That way I can kind of like plug and chug and plan out for the week what I want to eat for like lunch and dinner every single day. So that way I'm not thinking about it last minute, like, oh my God, what am I gonna have for dinner tonight? And then I don't end up eating till like nine o'clock, which happens. What I usually have is like a protein, tons of veggies, and then some type of fat, which usually ends up being an avocado mash that I make. It's basically guacamole without all the stuff in it. I just take avocados, mash it up, put some lemon juice and salt in it, and I'll usually have a portion of that with my dinner. You could do sliced avocado, but for some reason it's easier for me to eat the avocado mash over sliced avocado, especially if the avocado is a little bit underripe or a little bit overripened, I tend to not want to eat it. It has to be like perfectly ripe if I want to eat it sliced. So that's why I like to mash it up. I feel like just with lemon juice and salt, it's really good. Other meals that I'll have, I'll do grilled salmon with asparagus cooked in coconut oil. Sometimes I'll cook my veggies in coconut oil on the stove, but I really, really prefer to have them grilled, but it just kind of depends on, you know, what's going on in the house. We do a ground turkey stir fry with a ton of vegetables in it. Everything's cooked on the stove, which is really, really easy to do. I found this recipe online that's incredible. I always try to have a ton of vegetables with every single meal that I cook. That's like my main thing. Whenever I go a few meals without having a lot of vegetables, like I can feel it in my soul. I'm like, oh my God, I need veggies right now. So those are typically the dinners that I will have, but I'll show you guys what I'm cooking tonight. We have chicken here. These are chicken tenders. The marinade that I use for this, uh, I don't like to use the taco like seasoning marinade. Uh, we just use avocado oil. We use a lot of this in this house, like a lot. Just marinate it with this. This is from Ibiza, so <laughs> not readily available. Uh, this is a spicy salt. It's a hot chili flavored salt. So I'm sure if you just did like salt mixed with some type of uh, hot seasoning, it would be really, really good. So that's the only thing that we have on here that we use to marinate the chicken with. We really just set it here for like an hour or so before we cook it. We've got some bell peppers and red onion that we're gonna be grilling here. These also just have avocado oil, salt and pepper on them. And then also zucchini. I love zucchini. It's kind of like our vegetable of the month right now. Am I right? And then I just made my avocado mash. This is three avocados, a uh, half of a lemon and salt in here. So this is what we just have on the side. Now we're dumping the veggies. Ooh, it's hot. Get this out of the prep kitchen real quick. All right, now we're just gonna cook away here. It's time to serve up some dinner, you guys. So we start with the veggies here. Huge serving of it. I try to do as like big of serving of veggies as I can. I'll throw on a couple chicken tendies. Boom, some pico. This is just tomato, cilantro, red onion, lime, salt. That's pretty much it. We make this every few days. We just like to have it around because it's good. Throw some of this on here. I'm gonna use this hot sauce. This is, okay, you guys know what I'm talking about, the El Pollo Loco Salsa, the avocado one. You know what I'm talking about, right, John? That's not actually what it is. That, no, this is better than that, like 10 times better than that. This is from Vallarta. It's just avocado salsa, but it's a little bit hotter and more vinegary than the El Pollo Loco one, and it's so good. Put a little bit of this on there. Forgot about my avocado mash. This is a big plate. This will be your plate, John. Look at this, you guys. Gorgeous. And then dessert. We have some of the frozen desserts that I got from the sugar-free market. Or I'll just have like a little dish of chocolate chips or something after I eat. That's typically like what I always fall back on. If like I really feel like I want something sweet or I want dessert, I'll have a little jar of chocolate chips. This was everything that I eat in a day for the most part. Like I said, sometimes I'm better, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> if I make a trip to Yum Yum Donuts, I don't know. I do get a lot of questions on if I count and track my macros. 
I don't, it's just too much for me. Honestly, that's really what it is. I know it's really important to track your macros. I think if you wanna do it, go for it. I don't think it's the end of the world if you don't. I did it, I think the first few days I did keto, I was like counting and tracking. And honestly, I felt like I just spent so long in my phone trying to figure out how many ounces or how many tablespoons of something that I had. And I was just like, wow, I really don't wanna do this. It's just something that wasn't super important to me to track it every single day. And I think if you know you have very specific goals, you can totally reach those goals by tracking your macros. It's just not something that I wanna do. Anyway, so that is everything that I eat in a day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Uh, do you wanna add this to the, <laughs> what you eat in a day? Okay, I'm gonna use my, watch out. <laughs> And I won't back down. Still love the Cheeto, the Cheeto cheesecake. <laughs> She's a barker, huh? Are you gonna protect this house like Zoe does? What? No comment. What's that now? <laughs> With my hands, cause I have. You work out. Yeah, I work out. Get the hell out of here. And I won't back down. Get out of here. All right, so we're gonna take tables. Gorgeous. Come on. I didn't know you were gonna set me up like that. How are we feeling? Yeah, how are we feeling? I feel like everywhere I turn, there's another dog. This is what John does. He stinks up the kitchen. I eat cat food. Yeah, you eat cat food. Two cans of tuna. It literally says, whisker catch. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it it doesn't really cream pop this. It, it's not. It stinks. It doesn't say whisker catch. <laughs>